Hello viewers, subscribe to Sir Majesty Easy World Science Channel. Teach you how to take it and when to take it, the duration, because they consider some factors before giving you prescription. So it's better if you carry it along with the language they use in their prescription form. Like when they write 1 over 52 and they tell you to take the drug for how many times, you're going to take that drug for one week. A standing doctor's prescription is good for every patient because it will help you to take your drug the way you suppose. Every drug has a half-life and this half-life you can miss the time you should take them. And if you miss them, you will not get the required uh, effect. Uh, some terms are used by the doctor in your prescription form, like OD means once a day. Some of these things get you confused. In case the chemist, the person selling you this drug, the apothecary, if he makes a mistake, since you know what the doctor has written, you can correct it by yourself. So happy watching and remember to subscribe. God bless you. Hello, viewers. We are here to find out the number of times one is to take a particular drug in a day. And we have an expert in the field who would explain to us how to identify the actual number of times one is to take a drug in a day. Sir, sometimes I come across these expressions when I buy my medications. I would like you to help me explain their meanings. Okay, thank you. Okay, the first one is start. Okay, start means take the whole drug at once. Take the whole tablet at once. You don't need to divide them. Just once and it's all. Okay. Sometimes I also see OD and QD. Okay. OD means once a day. That's you're going to take the drug once a day, either in the morning or in the night, but let it be once a day. The QD means que day. That's que que day from Latin, meaning one in a day. Okay. I've also realized that sometimes I see BID. BID means uh, twice in a day. BD, that's taking in the morning and also take it in the night. Twice a day, that's BID. Oh, wow, wow. Okay, what about TDS? TDS means three times in a day. T in day, T-I-D is a Latin word meaning three times in a day or thrice in a day. Take it morning, afternoon, and night. Oh, I'm wild. Okay, what about QID? QID stands for quarter in day. Quarter in day, that's four times in a day. Four times. You're going to take the drug four times. You have to divide it by hours, depending. But it's better you start from six. If you're going to take a drug four times in a day, start from six in the morning because you're heading towards 10 p.m. At least it's expected you'll be asleep. Or if your doctor or your medical practitioner wants you to take in the midnight. Well, QID means quarter in day, standing for four times in a day. All right. What about PRN? Oh, PRN. PRN means take when necessary, and uh, the PRN stands for pro renata. Pro renata does take it when it is necessary. Like sometimes you are under pain. This time around, you are not talking about three times or two times. If it requires you taking it once a day, you take it depending on how the severity of the pain is. That time, you don't need to call the doctor again. Usually, for pain relieving, if the pain becomes too much, you can take it. PRN is uncertain. It's just a medication you take while waiting for the final thing to be done. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, too. Okay. Please, I would also like to find out how long one would take a drug before stopping it, according to the prescription. And I have realized that some of my medications would always contain some, maybe I should say, <laughs> mathematical science. <laughs> That's wonderful, of course. <laughs> There's some sort of mathematics there. Some sort of math, but it's simple. All right. Please, I would like you to explain some of them to me. Okay, go on. The first one is 2 over 7. Okay, okay. Coming to that aspect, that's duration of those age. How long will you take a particular drug and stop? Uh, once you have this in his mind, we have seven days in a week. Seven days in a week. So when expressing in days, we use two over seven. That two over seven or one over seven is not telling us to get the product or the answer to the mathematics. No. One over seven means one time. That's a day taken over seven. So in that case, seven days in a week means when we talk about one over seven, you're going to take the medication for one day. So it applies that when you have two over seven, you're going to take the medication for two days. 
3 over 7, 3 days. So 7 is used to express day. So take the thing below as day. Then the thing above is the real number. So 1 over 7 means 1 day. 2 over 7, 2 days. So 7 is just for days. Okay, thank you. What about 1 over 52? Oh, that's wonderful. We have 52 weeks in a year, remember. So weeks is expressed with the number 52. So you take 52 as just week. Okay. Then the number above it tells you how many weeks you will take it. Like 1 over 52 means you will take the medication for one week. Okay. 2 over 52, you take the medication for two weeks. Okay. 3 over 52, you will take the medication for three good weeks. So that is for your duration for weeks. All right. What about 1 over 12? 1 over 12. That's okay. Still the same thing. We have 12 months in a year. So 12 is used to express months. That means 1 over 12 means you take the medication for one month. 2 over 12, you take it for two months. So take 12 as months. So summary of what we've said so far now is 7 for days, 52 for weeks, and uh, finally we have uh, 12 for months. So if you even see 4 over 12, it means 4 months because 12 stands for months. So that's it for the duration of dosage. All right. Thank you very much. I have been enlightened. It's my pleasure. All right. It's my pleasure, Mr. AGK. Okay. I have also realized that... Well, I like your intonation, the way you sound. You sound foreign. Oh, thank you very much. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> there are some other abbreviations which I've also come across. I would like you to help me with the explanation. Okay. Okay. The first one is Nocte. Nocte. Nocte derived from the word nocturna. That's night. You have to take the medication at night. If they give you any prescription in your prescription form, you see nocte, meaning take that medication only in the night. Oh. That's just the meaning. Okay, okay. What about OCC? O -C -C? Okay, OCC means ointment. This is applied mostly for eye uh, treatments, maybe eye drop that is in form of gel, like hypoma gel, okay. not a free-flowing liquid okay. in form of gel, just to tell the persons giving you the drug, that's the apothecary, not to give you the one in free flowing, but the gel, the gelatinous one. So OCT stands for ointment. Okay, okay. What about TSP? Oh, TSP, tin spoonful, tin spoonful, that's one tin spoon. And uh, by measurement, it means five ml, five ml is TSP. Okay, what about TBSP? That's tablespoonful, tablespoonful. This time around, we are going to take it, this is for liquid, 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 uh, you take it for 10, that's 10 ml, that's for tablespoonful, 10 ml. Uh, you even have another one for the uh, eye drops, you have guts, guts, guts is also, sometimes you may meet with guts, uh, guts means just gutti, which means drop, just eye drop, like when they say gut salicine, it means bring the eye drops and not the ointment as opposed by oct. So God okay. just means free flowing liquid, eye drop direct. That's it. Okay, okay. What about SC? Oh, the SC actually stands for subcutaneous. Subcutaneous. That's the root of uh, administration of drug. We will handle that one entirely as a separate thing. But just know that SC means subcutaneous. We can have topical also, which stands for apply it only externally. Don't put it inside. It's not oral. It cannot enter into your body. Don't swallow. Okay. Okay. Like some uh, ointments should be topical. Okay. Uh, some of them that are used to treat uh, fungi infections on the skin, okay. the tenia pedis, tenia capuris, these things it should be topical, meaning they should only be applied externally. But we will handle this. This is a separate thing altogether, the root of admission of drug. Stay subscribed to get to know much about this. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Uh, what about OTC? Oh, OTC is opposite of what we have been saying. That's over the counter drug. Over drugs sold over the counter. That's drugs that consumers can go direct to the chemist or to the pharmacist and buy it without doctor's prescription. Without the doctor prescribing it, you can walk straight and buy it on your own and the pharmacy will sell to you. So these drugs are drugs that are tested by the organizing body like the NAPDA here in Nigeria or the FDA, whichever body that is responsible, regulatory body, to ensure that is not commonly abused and this drug should be effective it's very active like most of the pain relieving drugs like the ibuprofen is one of the otc one of the over the counter drug you can go straight and buy it by yourself without even the doctor prescribing it for you all right and the last one here is 
Rx. Okay, Rx just stands for treatment. Treatment actually or prescription. When you see Rx, it's just showing doctor's prescription. This one is commonly seen in drugs. So because these terms we are using here are also applicable in pharmacies. They are pharmaceutical terms also. All right. Thank you very much, Sir Majesty. I'm grateful. I'm grateful too. At least your English is good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm grateful. A nice thank presenter. Uh, and at least from now, you can understand more what your doctor wants you to do in your prescription form. Exactly. And exactly. this will prevent you taking overdose or missing your prescription, taking the taking the drugs the way you suppose because this will give you the required effect. Because drugs usually work in cumulative way. They they, they require to be accumulated to a certain level before they give you the effect you need. Exactly. So skipping them will not be good for your medication. So stay subscribed, you listener, for more of this. We have much for you to help you survive. You can get these things at your doorstep. Some things you think is foreign or is very difficult. No, you can't do it. You can do it your own. No more because Sir Majesty's World Science Channel is here to bring doctor's prescription to you and other medication programs. We have much things for you. God bless you.